Hey, what up guys, this is Ryan with PC Battle Stations, and I have a lot of high-end components, so today we're gonna to take a look at some budget peripherals from Pictech, which is Vixing's gaming line, and we're gonna take a look at the wired mouse, we're gonna take a look at their keyboard, and we're gonna take a look at the gaming mouse pad and see if it's worthy of being in your setup. Let's do this. This video is sponsored by Omaze. I've partnered with them, and some of you probably already seen my setup in their social media and emails, and they're offering you a chance to win $20,000 for a PC build and setup. I know that's extreme overkill, but you know what? That ensures everything that you want in your dream PC and your setup, maybe even a little something extra. This includes the taxes and shipping, and every donation supports a good cause, Gamers Outreach, who works in the gamers community to provide recreation to children in hospitals. And for your chance to win, go ahead and go to amaze.com slash PCBattleStations to enter. I'll have a link in the description. Good luck. But first, let's take a look at the Pictech mouse, which is currently about $21.99 on Amazon right now, so it's a great budget mouse. It features a right-hand ergonomic design, which I really like, kind of fits my hand really nice. And it caters to more of a palm grip user, someone who maybe has a large hand. And it has scrub coating to provide better grip. Um, but after a while, that scrub coating kind of uh, a little rubber feel feels really great. But after a while, you can see kind of wear and tears a little bit, but not a big deal. That means just uh, means more winning, right? Because I'm wearing it down. One thing that is adopted is the PixArt PMW3327 sensor, which is pretty good in a budget mouse like this for this price. Let's take a look at the buttons. So it's got the DPI up, DPI down. It's got your color mode where you can change the lighting. It's got a great fire button, which acts as a triple click. And so you press it once, it will left click three times. It enables the gamer to rapidly activate the constant gun shooting function by simply pressing down just that one button. But be careful though, as it might set off some anti-cheat alarms on some servers. So it could be nice, but be careful if you're on a server that has those anti-cheat mechanisms and looking for people that are probably doing that triple click might want to be aware. Now on the left side, it's got the DPI lock, which can reduce the gamer's mouse DPI to 200 in one second to stabilize the scope for a precise shot. And the bottom has a mode switch button to toggle between different profiles that you set up on the software. In the software, you can program all 10 keys. You can also adjust the DPI even lower, because I think by default, uh, the up and down buttons on the mouse go from 1200 all the way to 12,000. So you can get in the software and you can actually go all the way down to 200. So that's kind of nice. You can also adjust the lighting within the software. You can also do it on the mouse itself by pushing that lighting mode button. It's got four pulling rates, 125 hertz, 250 hertz, 500 hertz, and 1000 hertz. A pulling rate is how often it reports its position to the computer measured in hertz. So 125 hertz would report 125 times a second on its position. So you go all the way to a thousand though, it's gonna report it a thousand times per second and that could peg the CPU, so be careful. And after about 500, you know, if, you're, if you have it set to about 500 or a thousand, you might not even notice a difference. So what you're doing is actually, you're probably stressing your CPU a little bit harder than what you're actually getting in return. So be careful with that. Let's take a look at RGB. It's got a great set of RGB lighting. It kinda reminds me of my Mambo Elite back there. It's got the lights all around the outside and Customizable chroma RGB backlight with, you know, obviously it's got the 16.8 million colors and it's got seven lighting modes. The colorful streaming, single color or steady, breathing, tail, neon, reactive, and wave. And what you can do is you can pre long press that lighting mode button down on the mouse for three seconds to turn it off if you don't want to use the RGB. It also comes with a weight set if you wanted to add some more weights. With no weights, the Pictech mouse is about 90 grams, which is a little heavier than my Model O mouse and a little bit lighter than my Razer Mumbo Elite. And personally, I found the mouse to be a little bit more tensioned when left clicking, a little bit uh, heavier than my Model O mouse and my Razer Mumbo Elite. Uh, no big deal, it could be the way I kind of hold and also the mouse design. The cable braid's a little bit thicker, uh, which is decent, uh, but you might want to consider getting a mouse bungee a little bit. Uh, might get in the way, it's not that light. You want to shake it, there's no noticeable rattles or anything like that. So all in all, it's a pretty good gaming mouse for $22. You can't beat the budget price for a good gaming mouse with RGB. It's got a great sensor in it. 
uh, fully programmable, all the buttons, uh, the DPI up and down, the fire button, the three click, triple click. Um, it's pretty decent, so go and check it out and I don't think you'll be too disappointed. So moving on to the PicTech keyboard, it's about $44.99 on Amazon right now, so it's a good budget keyboard, because my Razer Mamba Lead over here was about 160, somewhere around that, and then my GMMK Compact, we don't want to talk about how much that was, you know, by the time I loaded it out with all the switches, and custom keycaps and all that stuff. So anyways, for $45, not too bad, it's a full size keyboard, 108 keys, and it has a metal top plate, which may be aluminum, so that kind of gives it a little bit higher end feel. It comes with a wrist rest, which is plastic, you know, which is not bad. It helps support the wrist. It is plastic, and I understand, you know, it may not be comfortable for some. It would be nice to have uh, kind of a, like a cloth wrist rest. But for $45, whatever, a lot of keyboards sometimes even come with a wrist rest. So just, you can remove it too, and you can put that cloth uh, wrist rest on there if you want. So it's shockproof, wear resistant, and spill resistant. So if you spill your gaming energy drink, water, or in my case, a nice cold glass of milk when you're gaming, nothing better. You don't have to worry, I don't drink milk, you don't have to worry about it ruining the keyboard, so that's good. So let's take a look at the RGB on this keyboard, which is actually kind of impressive, $45. It's got a good set of RGB modes, which, uh, so it's backlit with the side logo, and it's got 14 adjustable lighting modes. The PicTech logo on the side of the keyboard can light with three different modes. So you can do on, breathe or off. So the default is rainbow and if you want to change the lighting effects go ahead and hold down the function key with the control lock or scroll lock to cycle through all those 14 different modes. So this PicTech mechanical keyboard comes with blue switches which is I believe the kind of switch are a Tamo blues which is kind of like a cherry blue equivalent and it'd be kind of nice to be able to uh, choose what kind of switches it actually comes with uh, because the, some people don't like the really clickiness of the blues, especially if you have someone else gaming in the same room or you know a wife like me, really find these mechanical switches annoying. So the blue switches are really loud and clicky, but some people actually like that, which is fine. It'd be kind of nice to be able to uh, choose what kind of switch the uh, keyboard actually comes with, but not a big deal. A lot of them, these budget keyboards come with the blue switches like this. It has some multimedia keys, which is really nice, especially on a budget keyboard like this. Looks like it has the volume up, volume down, mute, and actually has a dedicated button to bring up the calculator, which is odd, but you know, not bad. We can just pop, click that button, calculator pops up, especially when you need it. And then it has uh, next track, previous track, uh, pause, play, stop, which is kind of nice. And then it has, looks like it has a home button and an email button and music button, so which is kind of nice. It's got these uh, multimedia keys. It also has a non-conflict option, which is really nice. It has an all key non-conflict or a six key non-conflict. And what that means is sometimes in gaming, you're pushing a combination of keys, like a W shift space or something. And basically the non-conflict will allow you to register all those keys rather than blocking one of those keys, which can definitely affect, you know, when you're gaming, you need those all to register as some sort of function. So all in all, this keyboard is a pretty decent keyboard for $45. You know, if you're looking for RGB, mechanical keyboard, full size, got a lot of different options on it, and I don't think you can go wrong. Now moving on to Vixen's Gaming Mousepad for $27.99 currently on Amazon, I was actually pleasantly surprised. It's pretty comparable and almost exactly the same as my Steel Series Gaming Mousepad, which is probably double the cost. It has a super fine braided fiber material, uh, non-slip rubber bottom, waterproof surface, water resistant coating from the accidental damage from spilling. So the RGB wrapping around the whole gaming mouse pad is pretty much the same as the Steel Series 2. It uses the same super glow fiber. It's got 12 lighting modes, 8 static and 4 dynamic modes. And the size is slightly larger than my Steel Series, so the size is about 31 and a half inches by 15.7 inches and about 0.2 inches thick. And it doesn't have any software, which is kind of nice, because the Steel Series you have to install software to actually control the lighting modes. So this kind of nice, makes it nice and slim. Uh, you don't have to install anything, which, as we know, software can be problematic and troublesome. So it's kind of nice where you can just click the button on top and change all the lighting modes. And it's powered by USB, so there's no drivers or anything like that. 
So if you're in the market for a good budget gaming mouse, good budget gaming keyboard with all the functions and RGB, and a good gaming mouse pad, take a look at Vixing or their gaming line, which is PicTech. Definitely don't think you can go wrong. So thanks for watching, guys. And remember to head over to amaze.com slash PC Battle Stations and enter for your chance to win a sweet setup PC build like mine. And remember, every donation supports a good cause, Gamers Outreach. And go there, donate. Good luck. See you guys in the next video.